Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. A lot happened last week, and I want to go over all of it with you here today. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Last week, it just rained and rained and rained and rained. <laughs> and so, Trout Run, which is where our log yard is located, it flooded like hardcore. It's it was really bad. A lot of people were affected by it. We were thankfully not because our log yard is up a little bit higher and a little bit farther from the creek than a lot of other a lot of trout run really. Trout runs uh I mean it's in the name, right? Trout Run. <laughs> so we everything runs along this creek here. And like I said, we were not affected thankfully, but the Exxon, which you've seen us deliver bundles to countless of times, was completely underwater. It was really bad. So I've not seen it yet. I've only seen pictures, but my mom and dad did. We, they drove up here when it was probably a little worse. It had happened a little bit sooner. It's been a couple days now and they're repairing a lot of it, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what is it, there is to see really so I mean it's just down the road it's two minutes away from the log yard and you can see here are some traffic cones that's all over there's just spots where the road just washed out that's not really anything too bad but you know how floods are very muddy and we're already seeing seeing just signs of it here with the cones all over the road where it just washed out but I have a person behind me and I'm going slow they're kind of pissed off I'm sorry but um yeah it's it was pretty bad and the fire hall apparently it was just not recoverable like they they actually have to move um to another location because of how bad it was. So the fire hall is in pretty bad shape and I guess they do have a fundraiser. I'll probably leave a link to it down in the description if you guys feel like helping out with it um, because it it really affected them pretty bad. And the fire hall, they're the ones that are supposed to help when <laughs> the flood happens. But, uh, or, well, when a flood happens, when we got hit with a flood that the fire hall was the people there with the boats and stuff and they're actually the ones hit and everyone else is helping them funny how that is but let's just see what all we can and can't drive on I'm sure some of the roads are closed here but here's the Exxon oh jeez. oh jeez. that does not look good I don't know, we, we, we can't get onto that road. Oh, oh man, the bridge. <laughs> It doesn't look like we're going to be able to see the Exxon from much closer. <sighs> Nowhere to really drive. The road's completely washed out here. But this looks like the worst of it is probably here on the bridge. The bridge itself is not washed out, but the road next to it was. Now, just Jade, zoom up and see if you can see that. Oh, yep, there's no road there. Jeez, look at the whole side of that building. Yeah, not good, not good.
signature smell that a flood has. And I sometimes smell it when it just rains really heavy and just that mud mixing with the water. It takes me back to 2011 when our house flooded. And you know, that's really the biggest mess that a flood has. Besides, you know, the damage that it does to the buildings, the mud, just feet and feet and feet of it. Even if nothing was actually damaged, just the mud is such, such a mess. They have a lot of work to do ahead. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys found that interesting. Make sure to leave a comment about your experience with flooding and other natural disasters. Boy, is water a force of nature. Nothing can really stop it, can it? I'll leave you guys here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.